discuss a few things related to the steps for the detailed design project so detailed design is nothing but uh, the the stage where construction is going on so you need to submit few design drawings all those things to the contractor so based on those drawings construction will be laid out okay so i am going to discuss few steps so that will be very useful for you okay so this video may continue two three more videos okay uh, first of all these are the steps i will go one by one okay these are the steps uh, in our company so but most of the steps are similar to the other companies also okay we'll go one by one first of all so when you are going to start a detailed design project you have to do site investigations so so this is common for the dpr and uh, detailed design although feasibility project also so site investigations you, sh uh, you must be carried out so nothing but road inventory bridge uh, surveys culvert locations all those things you have to take means very detail so because it is a detailed design project oh, so you must be uh, accurate while getting the details so site investigation is nothing but road width all those road inventory and row pillars all those things you have to so one by one so you have to locate and all those things you must be what to say uh, very accurate then only it will be very useful so photographs also required wherever the photographs you just take videos means so first uh, site investigations is very important so it will be beneficial for the while designing okay photographs and uh, videos everything so some local information water table water table levels so all those things are very important so as a designer you must carry out the road inventory survey and then the traffic engineer will carry out this uh, axle load surveys okay all those things you have to do okay so main detail design is uh, mm, will start after this only so site investigations after that site investigations then we'll go to the design basis report okay <coughs> design basis is report is nothing but it's a, a type of report which contains the uh, design proposals so, okay so nothing but what type of code you are going to refer what type of uh, cross fall what type of super elevation transition length maximum minimum all those things design standards you are going to mention based on that only you are going to design so it's nothing but so whatever the design proposal is there that all detail you should mention in this report design basis report okay so codes and the schedule also you should measure you should uh, you should be aware about that and uh, what to say you should not be deviate from the manual so that one of the criteria while preparing this design basis report okay after that uh, once you submit the design basis report the next step will be engineering survey report engineering survey is nothing but so whatever the surveys you carried out here this in this site investigations you have to mention one by one with photographs all those things okay so with that um, road width details every 10 meter interval all those things and payment design also okay uh, payment uh, what layers characteristics and uh, distresses all those things details you have to mention in this engineering survey report and axle load survey all analysis also okay what will be the payment as per the now as per the present conditions and and you have to compare with the dpr proposals whatever the things mentioned in the schedule you should compare the changes also all those things you have to mention in the engineering survey report okay engineering survey report will contains almost it's uh, less than the mm, stretch suppose it 40 kilometers it will be come on around 60 70 pages or less than that so mainly the whatever the surveys you have carried out you should mention in this engineering survey report okay here design proposals codes all those things okay um, then now 
i think these three you got the idea okay so now we'll go to the some geometric design part okay uh, so normally in a detailed design project you used to get the plan and profile and the tender tender document nothing but tender documents nothing but plan and profile of the dpr and the schedule these are two are very important this you will get from the nha website or uh, whatever the client suppose contractor is there so he will provide those things okay and uh, he may provide the kml file also that google earth file so based on that thing you will get a very good idea of the alignment all those things okay uh, from point to chain edges all those things in schedule everything will be mentioned what standards you should mm, follow and schedule d is very important is there any deviations you will get uh, the information in that uh, d and the schedule a is uh, about the existing existing road details okay whatever the existing row existing structures uh, what to say existing chain edges okay and kilometer stones all information existing major junctions existing minor junctions all things will come in the schedule a and schedule b is the anything but proposal whatever the design proposals are there structures uh, proposed structures and proposed chain edge variation between the existing okay existing and uh, proposed variation then what to say and schedule c will come the project facilities nothing but toll plaza bus space truck layby's all these things will come in the schedule c okay uh, this uh, what to say high must lighting okay uh, then some arrival proposals okay some basic information will come in the schedule c so on schedule d as i told you deviations okay you have to review the dpr drawings uh, i told you dpr drawings is nothing but plan and profile and then schedule these three you have to review and then prepare a discrepancy report including engineering survey report so discrepancy is nothing but so there might be some hard to say uh, as you visited the site in this first step so you may find out the discrepancy the, uh, they might have mentioned some uh, wrong details wrong nothing but some different mistakes are there in schedule all those things discrepancies you have to mention in this engineering survey report so they might have not followed the codes so in a plan and profile you will get the transition details all those things in a curve block so there you have to check for the de particular design speed is there any deviation for the transition length all those things you have to check and you have to prepare a discrepancy report in the engineering survey report itself okay discrepancy is nothing but variation between the um, plan and profile and the standards okay so then your proposal so you have to provide some solution so they might have followed the standard uh, service road tapering okay the 225 and 210 the acceleration lane and deceleration most of the dprs won't follow so that you should uh, be what to say you should be informed to the client then only they will be aware about the uh, issues and they will give you some get a uh, better idea and uh, we'll get some uh, to say easy process for the approval all those things it will be better for the ies ie approval okay before that only you have to you must be aware about this all those things discrepancy report then we will go to the horizontal design okay that i will discuss one by one so